Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Breezy Kicks, aka the Sneaker Fiend. How y'all doing? Now today we got the Nike Adapt basketball sneakers dropping this weekend on All-Star Sunday. So make sure you guys don't miss out on these. These things are fire. Before we get into the sneakers though, make sure you like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so already, hit that little notification bell down below so you can stay notified of all my videos. I do sneaker reviews, on foot videos, sneaker customs, anything to do with sneakers. So make sure you subscribe. Let's get it. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm here. So the homie Freddy again hooked us up with another sneaker review. Me being me and my luck, I took another L. I'm on like a 20 losing streak right now. It's not even funny. I feel like I've been saving a lot of money sneaker wise, but it's almost like I don't want to. I'm like, Nike, take my money and they just don't want it. I don't get it. I'm gonna have to invest in a bot or get a legit plug somehow. If you guys know anyone, know any good bots, leave that down in the comment section. Your boy is in desperate need of help. The Nike Adapt basketball sneaker so it came in this little case right here i just took that out real quick but man this thing is nice the presentation is awesome this thing is so dope i'm like i really want to get this when it drops i'm gonna be on the sneakers that i'm trying to cop and hopefully i can get my pair looking at the tag you got nike adapt bb which stands for basketball this is a size nine retail 350 dollars the colorway they're calling this is the black reflective silver. Then you got EARL, which stands for Electro Adaptive Reactive Lacing. Kind of a tongue twister. Spin around. Pretty dope, man. This thing's awesome. Now, to unbox it or to take it off, you have to pull these tabs out on both sides and it'll pretty much just slide right up. One other thing is the top of the box. You got a Nike swoosh with a little handle. Ooh. It comes wrapped up like this. Real quick before we get into the sneakers, it comes with a little charging unit right there. This thing is dope. It's a little clear thing off. And you're looking at this super lightweight so it has a type c charging port that's what this is a little charging cable in there and you can see that nike adapt e a r l b b really dope presentation i'm just i don't know what it is i just get so hyped about special things like this when companies uh present like a product super nicely and they just put a lot of thought into it. I don't know why, but I go crazy for that. Yeah, it's pretty dope. You just plug that charging unit in, set the shoes on top, and it just starts charging. Uh, the lights will start glowing. That's how you know it's charging. Be right back. So I've been letting it charge for a while. I think it's good now. First off, looking at the sneaker, man, you got a black and white midsole with a black upper reflective silver coming up. It's really dope how they got this swoosh inside of the bigger one. I think it just gives a cool little add to the sneaker. Nice icy outsole. Other side of the midsole. Another Nike swoosh. Into the hill section. You got this little plate right here. Also a Nike swoosh. There are Nike swooshes all over this shoe. <laughs> like a Nubuck type material in the back. But the upper is pretty much just a mesh. Nothing too crazy. They had to make it so it would work with the lacing system. Pretty dope. Then it does have like shoe tree type things. So there's this one inside as well. At the insole, got the little color design with an L. This is the left pair. That's what that's for. In the back of the tongue, you got that E-A-R-L with a Nike swoosh on that tag. This upper is pretty much a see-through. There's pretty much nothing to this upper besides the lacing mechanism so let's turn these bad boys on I'm gonna just hold so we got the shoe tree in there I'm gonna tighten it 
guys can see that move. Tightening down. And then loosen it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold both these to set it to our setting. One, two, see that flash? It is now saved. So let's loosen it up. You just gotta hold it back once. It'll loosen all the way up by itself and you're good. One, two. So all you gotta do is hold it forward for about two seconds. And it'll tighten to the setup that you had before. So again, let's loosen this up. One, two. And it's loose. Uh, I made a video about these a while ago when they first announced that they were coming out. You guys can go check that out. It's a really informative type of video. So I go into detail on how it was made, what it can withstand, all that other stuff. I will leave the link to that video down below in the description. But this is pretty much just the first look, thoughts, just kind of testing it out, seeing what's up. Man, these things are crazy. That's just straight fire. As always, I keep fire on this channel. So of course I'm gonna be saying it over and over again. So going to the app store, just gonna look up Nike Adapt. And there it is. Yeah, you can see it's this one right here, but the little get button is faded and it doesn't do anything when you click it. Pretty sure they'll be having that out soon probably either when the actual drop is or maybe a little later so until then we are not able to change the color of the sneakers or really mess with any of the settings they will have updates to the app which they said that they will i think there, there's some really cool things that they can do one thing i said in my other video was stuff like calorie count uh you know how many calories you were burning while playing ball or just like an overall intensity level you know something that like tracks your intensity your steps to your speed to all that stuff and kind of calculates everything like per minutes played blah 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 whatever and gives you like an overall just intensity level you can work on it and then be able to perform better later in the future on the court uh, the app's really dope. I think these sneakers are awesome. Uh, a few little things. It says in this little pamphlet, it will say stuff like safety things, you know, don't charge it for over 24 hours. So don't leave the sneakers charging for over 24 hours consistently. So once it's charged, if you can take it off, uh, there's no point of it staying on the charger. You'll probably drain the battery or you'll probably burn out the battery or don't want to do that so don't don't do it <laughs> you know but uh yeah all sorts of different things i think this app's gonna be really cool uh just some of the pictures you can tell you know it's got the left and the right where you can tighten and loosen it up through the app as well as change all the colors much go with any outfit you're wearing you know whatever uniform you have go with your team colors that's pretty dope go with your socks whatever it may be but yeah 350 it's kind of steep but honestly this is such a dope sneaker and the whole time I've been messing with it and just looking at it I've had this crazy smile on my face and just oh man I want it I want to get me a pair of my size and just rock them and these things are dope these things are killer let me know what you guys think did you cop did you pass? Are you gonna try and cop on the actual drop? What do you think of the price point? What do you think of the lacing mechanism? Overall look, just what are your opinions? Drop it down below. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do it. It's your boy Breezy Kicks. Bye. We out. Really bossing up now, I'm pushing foreigners round the town. Girls just love when I'm around. I don't gotta make a sound. I can't hear a head of talk in the background at the lounge. I be up in VIP with my sneakers on the couch. My mama said that I'm a clown.